Sorry, guys. So Jacqueline was like, I just want to make sure it wasn't a CYA thing, like cover your A. So Jacqueline, shut up. Um, Karen sent a text about Tamia that everybody has been talking about her tea. And she just wants her to, you know, be careful with it, you know? Um, so Jacqueline, I don't think that was a CYA moment. One thing we do know about the Grand Dame, she definitely speaks her opinion. And she's not afraid to let the girls know when they're wrong. So shut up. Um, we all know that Karen didn't agree with them at the picnic. And apparently they're all at a place right now called Swingers. So I thought that that was funny when Ashley and Candace were meeting up. Um... At night, like nice move, Ashley. If you hadn't already told Robin about, you know, the the the, the thing with Chris, I just thought that it was messy and lame. Um, Ash don't want to be messy in front of the group, right? So she tells Candace about the DM gate. Candace doesn't care. Um, she can see how Ashley could feel uncomfortable on one benefit, um, but she's gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. But just make sure that she's not, you know, being messy. So. Child, apparently, you know, white Chris is trying to build the club up, okay? We all know he works at the W, so when he's reaching out to you, trying to link with you, is not giving that. Damn. Our Ash arrives to the dance studio. She has sweets. Robin and Giselle arrive. I hate Giselle's wig. Sharice has been reaching out to Karen, and Karen ain't stunning her. Karen don't want nothing to do with you, Sharice. Move forward. Move forward, big neck. Tabu. Uh, Giselle and Ash, they discussed divorce gate and house gate yet again. And Ash said, Michael has not had kids on her, so it's not a hostile environment. We're good. I, 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 our environment not as hostile as other people's. I said, oh. <laughs> that was basically shade. Like, Giselle, you and, you and, you and, you and your man, y'all had big problems. Me and my man, our problems are minute compared to you and, you know. Your ex-husband. And I thought that that was real. Like, girl, me and my husband, we don't have the same type of issues that you and your husband have. Pero. Mia and Candace arrive. Wendy arrives. She's been booked and busy. She had to do this. She had to do that. She had to do that. But she dang sure made sure that she made it. They start dancing. Robin looks a hot masculine mess. Um, They do a routine. A one, two, boom, boom, cat. Titty nipple up and six. So I'm here for that. This class is over and Giselle wants to talk about Chris and what happened at the reunion months ago when she really could have told Candace when it happened, okay? Um, and so Candace is just like, did he do or say anything to you? Like, don't, like, if it's uncomfortable, then what happened? What was the tea? Like, don't just be saying that and just throwing that out there and it ain't no real, excuse me, it ain't no real tea. And I feel her on that. For real. Candace is saying the same thing Robin said. Like, my husband been nice. He done cook for you. Like, I just can't see how you can say that my man has made you uncomfortable. And that's how episode two ended, guys. So, that is my review of The Real Housewives of Potomac. Season seven, episode one and two. Episode three and four will be together. And then I'll be back weekly dropping the 